Can you remove scratches from stainless steel? That is a great question. I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, is there a way, if you've accidentally scratched a stainless steel appliance, is there a way to remove the scratch or are you kind of stuck with it or do you have to replace it? It's a good question. I went online and I found, based on some recommendations from some other house cleaners, a kit called Scratch Be Gone. And I'm going to leave links in the show notes in case this works and you wanna get a kit yourself. We're gonna go on an experiment today because I've never done this before. We are going to give it a try on a stainless steel sink that has lots of scratches and a couple chemical stains. And we're gonna see exactly what this does and does it work. All right, in this sink, what we're looking at is we have right over here some light chemical stains. If I can get close to that, see that? And then over here, I've got a heavy duty chemical stain. I don't know if it's gonna get that out, but we'll certainly give it a try. And then we've got all kinds of really fine scratches that are on the bottom of this sink, which are kind of heavy duty scratches. If you take a look at those, we've got some serious scratching going on. And then I also have on the top of this, I've got some really deep scratches that it looks like Got scratched. I'm not even sure how that got scratched. All right, let's take a look at what's inside our kit. I've got some paper towels here that I'm going to roll out on the counter so that we can protect our um, countertop. And I have the kit here, and this is the Scratch Be Gone kit. And it says you can quickly and easily remove hard water buildup, heat scorching, deep scratches, light scratches, chemical stains, scuff marks, and rust. It says it works on all your non-coated stainless steel. And so it shows some pictures of scratch sinks before and then after. It shows scratched uh, refrigerators and ovens. So this looks like it's going to be a really good kit for us. So when I open this up, let's see what's inside. It comes with three pads. I have a heavy duty pad. And then I have a medium pad. And then I have a light pad. And also in this kit comes a handle. And I see that this is a patented handle that these wrap around and these little horns fit on like this. And then you twist the horn and it locks it in place. So that's how those go on. And we'll do that with these different uh, pads, but that's how those go on. And then it just unlocks and these just peel off like that. So I have three pads, medium, uh, light, medium, and heavy. And I guess that's heavy duty. And then I have this handle. And then I also have a strip that looks like sandpaper, very coarse. So we'll put that right there. And then I have a little bottle of Barry's Ultra Shine. And this is Barry Feynman. He's the creator of this kit. And I have a microfiber cloth that we're gonna use to polish the stainless steel. And then I have two more things in here. I have instructions, and this is one page of instructions on both sides. And so I recommend reading the instructions. And this comes with a true metal test strip. If we take one of these little test strips and we rub it on the stainless steel, if the stainless steel turns black, then it's true metal and we can move forward with this test. If for any reason it doesn't turn black, we don't get to do this test. It's for non-coated metal only. Okay, and then we're gonna be using our uh, polyester gloves dipped in nitro. And I do have some painter's tape that I'm gonna tape up the sink just so that we can see where we've been and the scratches before and after. There's a light chemical stain here. So we're gonna to try to remove some of that. The key is we're gonna go along with the grain of the, um, the stainless steel. And I'll show you this. With this brush, we can either go horizontal this way, or we can turn and go vertical and go this way. But we're gonna be going this way with the grain of the stainless steel. All right, I'm reading the instructions and it says, do not use scratch be gone on any stainless steel surface known to have a clear coat, imitation film, synthetic or carefree finish. 
Always use the True Metal test strip and provided in this kit before restoring any surface. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this test strip. And this just goes right over your finger. And we're gonna work in some really fine patterns here with the grain. All right, I have our next pad. This is our heavy duty pad. And I'm gonna put the heavy duty pad on. And now we're gonna fix this up a little bit. And this goes here and locked in place. I'm gonna put some berries, what do you call this? Berries Ultra Shine. I'm gonna put a little bit on here. And I'm gonna start back here where I started at the top. All right, now we're gonna try this down here on this top part of the stain. here uh, one more time. It looks really good so far. Oh, I'm happy about that. That looks so good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and switch pads. I'm going to put on the lighter pad. And this is going to give us an opportunity to just buff everything out then. And this is the lightest pad, which is just going to allow us to polish the And I'm locking these in place. And then I'm going to put some berries on here as well. I'm going to take the microfiber cloth and see what's going on there. You can still see a couple light scratching here. Buff that out. Oh, it looks so much better. All right, now we're going to clean this with our uh, microfiber cloth. We're going to polish that up. It does look amazing. Now I'm going to peel off this tape. And we're going to see where we've been. All right, this is the uh, after area right here. This is the before area where the tape was. And then the after area here, you can see how shiny and nice that looks. And then coming down here to this area here where it's still scratched, we didn't do that part yet. Going inside the sink, you can see the top area there where it did in fact remove the chemical stain. There's the bottom of the chemical stain right there. And down in this area, that is where the chemical stain was and the other half of the chemical stain is gone. And looking closer to, if I can do this with the light, 
Looking closer around the sink, you can see that all the scratches are still on this side of the sink. And this other side of the sink is where everything came off. So doesn't that look amazing with the before and after? So I'm gonna give this product a thumbs up. I'm gonna say this is an excellent way to do this and to restore and refinish the scratches from your sink. So this is the before and after of the sink. And the sink needs to be done as well. It's got lots and lots of scratches in that. It's also got a chemical stain over here. And the before and after though, that's amazing. That's really impressive. All right, well, I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. I'm gonna say that that worked. That was awesome and uh, so much fun. So I learned a new trick today. Woohoo! All right, that's it. That's it for today. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. If you got questions or comments, those go in the notes below. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. What? You're gonna leave it just like that? No, I didn't. I spent another hour and a half and I went ahead and I finished the sink and it looks amazing. It was a little bit time intensive, but it looks fantastic. Do you remember that spot at the very bottom of the drain that I told you to pay attention to? Yeah, I left that there so that you'd know this was in fact the same sink because I knew once I finished it, you would never believe it was the same sink. I know, I'm giving Scratch Be Gone a thumbs up.